All right. Campaigning has reached a fever pitch in the Maluti and uh, Pofong municipality in Kwa Kwa Free State ahead of uh, the by-elections on uh, Wednesday. Democratic Alliance leader Musi Mamani has uh, been doing a door-to-door -door campaign in Buiketl. Uh, Mamani says that uh, the ANC has trampled on uh, people's human rights uh, because there's a lack of basic service delivery, such as water and electricity in Maluti Apufung municipality. The DA in the Maluti Apofung municipality has received a major boost uh, today uh, while they are preparing for the by-elections on Wednesday. Remember, six political parties and about 15 independent candidates will be participating in the upcoming uh, by-elections on Wednesday. So the DA today uh, has been visited by their leader to boost their campaign for the by-election. Here in uh, uh, Maluti Apofung in Kwakwa, we are in Buiketro in Maluti Apofung. Ndatema Iman is here with me just to tell us about about today's campaign. Ndate, uh, uh, thanks for your time. Just tell us, Kwa uh, has got so many problems yeah. and you are here uh, campaigning for your party. What, what can we expect from you if I'm voting for a DA or community here votes for DA? Uh, what can they expect? No, absolutely. And uh, coming here, we've got to make sure we get Malutia Pofung working. The crisis here is about jobs and there are many factories, there are many places and small businesses that must start here. We are here to set up a fund so that people can be able to create work, so that people are employed. We also need to come and deliver services here. It's become very clear that there's no water, there's no electricity here and ultimately Maluti Apovung has suffered under corruption where money is not even paid towards ESCOM. This municipality owes ESCOM over 4 billion rand. The DA says we want to negotiate with ESCOM to make sure that we can bring electricity here, make sure water gets back to flowing here so that the finances of the resources are, are, are looked after and services are delivered. And we want to eradicate corruption. Let all of those people who stole money in Malutia Pufu end up in jail. So I'm here to wage a war against corruption and to ensure that we deliver services for the people. Mm. Talking about corruption, that my money, uh, the municipality, there's been many cases of corruption. Are you part of the uh, people who open cases against the municipality or municipal officials? Absolutely. I, I think the the greatest crime in South Africa has been committed by a criminal syndicate called the ANC that has gone out of its way to loot against the people. Therefore, we are here to say we have opened cases, we have laid charges against people. Now, I will be going to the National Prosecuting Authority to make sure those who are here, who have been looting, must be prosecuted. We can't have commission after commission without the actual prosecution itself. When we are done with that, let those who have looted from the people end up in jail. Because that's accountability. You are not going to stop people from looting if we don't put them in jail. And so the war here really is against a criminal syndicate that must end up in jail. We talk about problems of water, we talk about problems of electricity uh, in, in, in Maluti Apofung. How are you going to tackle those issues when, when you are elected as, as a, a party here in, in Maluti Apofung? You know, the DA is the turnaround specialists. Where we come in, we turn municipalities around. And so what we want to do is the first, first thing first is elect and appoint the best people. Because you'll remember here in Maluti, People were chosen because they are cousins, they are family members. Mm. It's been insider trading that's been happening here. So let's, see, let's select the best people to run the municipality. Second, let's make sure that every cent that is collected in this municipality is not used to proper politicians but used for the people. Thirdly, let's get the engineering capacity to make sure the water and the, and the system here gets back to working so that people can open taps and water comes on. And then as I said, this debt for ESCOM, we must come to terms with the fact that there was the lot have looted. We've got to recoup some of the money, pay ESCOM, so that we can begin to deliver reliable electricity for the people here of Malutia Pofu. And therefore, the DA is saying, give us two years. Because the next elections after these ones on Wednesday will be in 2021. We are saying, give us a two-year contract so that we can show you the kind of change we want to build. Because when we bring businesses here, and people begin to start their factories. You can derive the tax that you need so that ultimately you can begin to service the people. Uh, Musi Maimani, the leader of the Democratic Alliance here in Kwakwa today, campaigning for uh, the party for the by-elections, talking a uh, lot of issues regarding uh, the municipality here. We're talking corruption. We're talking the issue of uh, uh, water and electricity. Right, well, uh, self-employment.